here, 2v2, Median Cliff Mines blue team. It's Noisy who is not moving. He's a plague champion, no stats out range combat with this damage of a time bolt. There he goes, can get many weapons, good versatility and can build turrets and repair. Black Legion alongside DJ Rafa plays a big angry war boss. Melee commander that walks through cover, very good offense, disruption and support from the front lines can also be incredibly tough late game. Red team, it's Asmon rocking his warlock. Melee commander with great mobility and awesome disruption can tank damage also with the right war gear. And alongside Lucidic plays a force commander, offensive melee, quite versatile, can tank, disrupt and support with buffs. Median Cliff Mines, classic map, natural for blue team in the north, natural for south team in the, natural for red team in the south even, and a contested victory point mid. Four very good players on show, Asmon one of the best warlock players around, Lucidic in my opinion one of the best force commander players around. Noisy, one of the best all-rounders. Raphael, I haven't seen him play Orcs very much, but a very good Kels player. 478, 500. Force Commander, go to meet the Sluggers. Where's the battle cry? There it is. Didn't get a disruption. Shotgun blast. Shotguns up very quickly for these scouts, and Sluggers are forced off. Tactical Marines now being chased down by the war boss. Double shooters backing off also. Here comes the Warlocks, fleeting in, look at the speed he had there to support his Space Marines. And the Bang Bang Hammer is on the way for DJ Rafa. Dire Avengers getting their DPS in and a Shuriken Cannon on the way for Asmon, who does have a Howling Banshee squad on the field. Now can Noisy keep them in check with his Heretics? He's going double Heretics, double Chaos Space Marines. Warlock loves to fight heretics, he gets his destructor on them and all of a sudden they're dead. 478, 477, Asmon very very good with his destructor as well. And look at this, power harass early on for blue team, going after the node. Shuriken will set up, heretics gonna try and close in, big risk and it doesn't pay off. Loses only a couple of models and gets away. 478, 476, Star Avengers getting their aspect. Give them a plasma grenade, energy shields, and fleet, and a health buff. 2 to 1 cap for red, 472, 476. Shooters backing away, here comes the war boss, and that bang bang hammer will hurt. It's not a power melee weapon, but it does a lot of damage. 150 damage per swing, in fact. It doesn't swing very often, though. I think it's 100 DPS. 462, 476. Angry Bits on the way. We'll allow the War Boss to charge in and give us some health regen as well. Force Commander is going to try and hold up this Power Harass. Go straight after those Sluggers getting some Bolt Pistol Sops in. I don't think they want to fight him. Takes our model with Bolt Pistol Shots. War Boss chasing him in turn. So this is good hold up play here by Lucidic. Stopping the Power Harass. Again, in amongst shooters now, needs to be careful though. That bang bang hammer, buffing damage and speed with each swing and he uses user choppers on the war boss. That's good play from Rafa but doesn't, he does take down the force commander. Did this special attack there which would have been very unlucky if he didn't kill the force commander there. Lucidic just overextended slightly. 460, 419, it's a triple cap for blue team. Look this tier one from Noisy. Now some Havocs on the field. Double Guardian Weapon Teams for Asmod. Salt Marines up for Lucidic. Is he going to repurchase his Force Commander or can the Warlock make his way up there to revive? War Boss being suppressed by the Shotgun Blast. There's a big Stomp Cyborg implants. Has fully upgraded his War Boss in Tier 1. Not messing around. Has 1060 hit points now at level 1. Takes down a Tactical Marine as well. Very good start for the war boss going after the assault marines. Can he get a model? I don't think he can. They do get away and the force commander has been repurchased by Lucidic. 460, 363. Some Nurgle worship. Havoc's taken tons of damage. The warlock is there. That's the passive leap into combat. Can he finish this model off? I don't think he can. No, Pounding Banshees moving into Heretics. Heretics in their default state. Don't really want to fight Howling Banshees unless they got some support, which they did have there. 
We saw that excellent destructor as well. Pounding Banshee's running away. 460, 337, a double cap for blue. It's tier 2 for Asmon, the first player to go. Lucidic having to be purchased. His force commander, of course, couldn't go tier 2 himself. 250 requisition to repurchase your commander if you wait long enough. The price of the repurchase comes down. It starts high depending on what level your commander is. So early on, you usually don't have to wait very long to get a 250 rec repurchase. Here's some Nogo worship. Double Chaos Space Marines are going to get in behind cover. Both. No, sorry. Yes, both with Eternal War. It's a lot of firepower early on and not easy to shift with that Nurgle worship behind that is light cover there grenade goes in from the Dire Avengers who then run away Kel Space Marine shrugging it off the Plague Champion comes in to force melee does very little melee damage with his ranged weapon the Plague Champion but well, it's all about tying things up Howling Banshees moving in going after the Plague Champion and there's a special attack immediately the Warlock now in a bit of trouble in melee combat with Kel Space Marines but a nice special attack by him Plague Champion in disarray here. Is he going to get away? He is supported by those Havocs. They need to suppress the Banshees though. And they do suppress the Banshees. Some Nurgle Worship helping him out and he does get away. Force Commander coming in with a flank from Lucidish. Nice play. Forces off the Havocs. Howling Banshees getting their Aspect a bit late. Not often do you wait to Tier 2 to get your Aspect. But it's Aspect of Strength. will give their Executioner Spear to their Exarch. 46305 Warboss charging in very, very slowly. There we go. He has Odd Boys on himself trying to tank some damage here. Hold up this army. Salt Marines just retreating out of there, not wanting to risk losing a model. Tactical Marines with this Flamer. Awesome weapon. Really good versus units in cover and garrisons. And generally good at melting down large clumps of light infantry, such as double shooters. Tier 2 for everyone now. Red team already there. Blue team going in afterwards lots of power expenditure for both players noisy has fetid double eternal war and havocs rafa fully kitting out his commander and big shooters sluggers with no burners four three four three zero five play champion not decapping mid there's a two to one for red havocs Unable to stop the Warlock leaping right into their face and forces them off and takes out a model as well. Look at this flank though. There's the Autop drop, keeping the Banshees safe for now. But Heretics are going after them. These guys are low on health. Exarch is up. Autop jumps in, but that is touch with no one. They need to run the hell away. Very powerful global ability by the Plague Champion. Look at that save from Lucidich. Assault Marines jumping in, immediately backing off though, not wanting to eat. Touch of Nurgle explosions. Autop also backing off. That is excellent play by Lucidich. 414-305. Now noisy. Backing off from the Shurikens who are turning to face. Here come Touch of Nurgle Heretics. Touch of Nurgle lost 30 seconds. It will be down to 25 in 2.2. Assault Marines with their Sergeant now mixing it up with shooters. Sergeant gives them a power sword. Touch of Nurgle, for those who don't know, causes an explosion on death, doing damage and knocking back enemies as well as healing allies, so it's a very powerful ability. Down goes the Warlock in retreat, caught by Kel's Space Marines in melee combat. Some Nurgle worship there. Here come Howling Banshees. Very nasty engagement there. Merciless Strike setting up that Howling Banshees charge. Excellent play there. Not sure if he intended that. He saw the Banshees coming in. But worked out very nicely either way. Banshee's finishing off the heretics. Yeah, the war boss is there though. Where's the stomp? Has he used it already? I don't think he has the energy to use it right now. There it is. It's a big stomp. Bit of a animation bug. He did a sink kill just as he was using the stomp. Because he didn't actually see him stomping. 367, 303. The big stomp does knock back damage and a stun. So very good for those Banshees. Here's a Blood Crusher up now for Noisy. Has lost the Heretic squad, but he's still doing good with double CSM and Havocs. Guardian Weapon team backing off, and we do have a Bright Lance up immediately from Asmon to deal with that Blood Crusher, or at least try to keep any other with a Turkey Cannon for now. Is Rafa going to purchase something? 
War Trucks incidentally are getting a price reduction in the next update which will synergize well with Sluggers who are also getting a bit of a help in hand with their burners going down in price so it will be interesting to see if we see some more double or maybe triple Slugger builds with War Truck support in 2.2 onwards. 308, 303, some burners burning down generators. Havoc setting up mid, still with their heavy bolt up. Blood Crusher thinking twice before going after the Force Commander who has his power fist, such a hard anti melee, anti vehicle weapon, I should say. 85 DPS heavy melee with flesh over steel. Assault Marines now starting to bully these shooters. Here comes the war boss to see to that. Done well so far. Level 2. 291, 303. Assault Marines are forced off. There's a big stop. Librarian up for Lucidic. Using his quickening to get into combat with these shooters. And big special attack there. Does power melee damage with his force sword. And has Tome of Time up. 291, 297. War boss with Ardboys up runs away. And Lucidic will take his victory point, maybe even harass some power because Tactical Marines are there with a missile launcher now. Big advantage Tactical Marines have is that they can change their specialized weapon whenever they like, as long as you pay for it each time and they will hit power there. Kicking off bottom though, 291, 287. Blood Crusher coming in. War Talk is there, she has a power sword, can't do a lot to the Blood Crusher by herself. Till she gets her fusion gun, which is tier 3. Plague Champion with the Bile Spewer, late purchase and fetid armor. Gonna go hit some power and the Bile Spewer absolutely wrecks power. Should decap with the Chaos Space Marine Squad, I think doesn't need all of this to hit power. Here come Howling Banshees, maybe he does. Bright Lance, Shuriken, Autark jumping in. High healing those Banshees there, also buffs them with I think a damage buff and a speed buff. As well as this passive buff that she does of course, which is 15% less damage. Plague Champion getting taken down, trying to use Fetid, but he died anyway. Unholy Stench is the name of the ability. Heretic's decap. A very good and swift defense by Asmon. Or Tark seen off the Heretic's. These guys do have an Aspiring Champion. Havocs are going to get caught by Assault Marines here. 282, 281. It's a single cap for Blue Team. Knob Squad on the way for Rafa. Rushing to Tier 3. That's why I didn't purchase anything in Tier 2. That is a very quick knob squad. What is it? 12 minutes or so? I'm not sure. I might be way off there. No idea how much time have passed. 282, 267. War boss levels to 3. Assault Marines knocked back by a special and then stomped. Librarian is there using Veil of Time on Tactical Marines, boosting their speed. Sluggers using Swampum and Tactical Marines do not want to fight those guys. Catching Assault Marines in retreat. Good play from Rafa. Takes out a model. And it was the Sergeant. So that was excellent engagement for him. 280, 258. Rafa with some Nurgle Worship. Double CSM and that Bile Spear. Now getting some Black Grenades. Asmon has a Fire Prism on the way. Exactly what they need to try and deal with this Knob Squad. We might see some Assault Terminators from Lucidich. I hope so. Lightning Cores. Always fun to see. Power Fist Force Commander forcing off Sluggers. Attacks very slowly but so much damage when it does hit. Also has the Teleporter Pack here are the Knob Squad. Elite Tier 3 melee unit. Toe to toe anything in the game. Especially when they have all their upgrades which makes them very expensive. There's a Warp Throw. Has no Dire Avengers to throw a grenade though. There's a Black Grenade that's nicely done. Look at the damage from this thing now. Combined with that Fire Scoot as well, that is nasty, nasty stuff. 260, 258. Since that buff a few patches ago, Black Grenades I think are pretty damn awesome. Fire Prism is up though, using the Spread Shot to disrupt. 260, 253. 2 to 1 cap for blue. Assault Marines with Veil of Time. Special attack on the Plague Champion, but they are running away because of these touch of Nurgle Heretics. But Fire Prism saves them perhaps there. Get away with not match health on three models of Salt Marines and lost their Sergeant again if in fact he had repurchased it. Predator tank on way for Lucidic. We're not going to see Terminators for a little while then. If we do at all. 260, 242 is a 1 to 1 cap. Touch of Nurgle is still up. Banshees knocked down and have to retreat immediately. There's a Noxious Cloud as well. 
Plague Champion doing what he does best, absolutely debilitating entire armies with his globals. 260, 242, Noxious Cloud. Can't do a whole lot to the Fire Prism, so he doesn't bother moving it. And the Plague Champion now in retreat. Predator tank is up, auto cannon on top, heavy bolters on the sponsons. Sluggers chasing, they can't do a lot to it. War boss is level 3, Plague Marines on the way for Noisy. Where is the Nob Squad? They are coming through mid again, we're forced off. Yes, now I'm angry. Boosting the health regeneration of the war boss. Needs to be careful here though. There's a power fist right in behind him. Well, a couple of special attacks from the force commander. Battle cry was used. So he couldn't get a clean hit on. 260, 232 librarian still around. Good usage of this guy by Lucidic. Or Tuck. Decapping. Tank still getting shot. Scouts in retreat, almost level two. Shooters are going to retreat as well. Can Lucidic decap top? Assault means are going to try, but here comes the knob squad. And these guys have their knob leader, they have their U jammers and Mina and Greener, so they're even more dangerous than they are when they start off. There's a warp throw. Didn't work though, they were knocked down already. 248, 232. Fire Prison will be very important to try and keep that knob squad at bay. Honey Banches are still around. Have been in the wars. Autark needs to back the hell off here. 241, 232. She goes down. Asmon. WTF in. Maybe try to retreat her a little bug there, which sometimes happens unfortunately in Dawn of War 2. You try to retreat. And they don't. They just refuse. In the grim darkness of the far future, you cannot expect things to retreat when you tell them to all the time, unfortunately. Yeah, looks like that's what happened. Commandos up for DJ Rafa have their knob leader and they are infiltrated here. They're gonna throw a burner bomb, then use love the Dakar, I think. And what are they gonna use it on though? Big engagement in mid, 228, 232. No, they aren't, they're just gonna attack the predator tank here. Or warlock, I should say, going straight after them, ties them up. Special attack with the merciless switchblade. That was a wasted opportunity. Should have thrown the burner bomb and disrupted something. Not going to take down a vehicle just with that Nob Leader's rocket launcher, I don't think. Because Space Marines level 3, getting their aspiring champion and need to get the hell out of there. Very lucky not to lose more models. Plague Marines almost wiping out. And they do wipe out, in fact. Not sure what got the last hit. I think it was the Force Commander. Assault Terminators in the field. Thunderhammers and Storm Shields. Unique Terminators for the Force Commander. These Thunderhammers are heavy melee weapons, unlike the Thunderhammer that the Force Commander himself can get also have a whole lot of hit points because of these storm shields giving them extra hit points up to 5400 of those storm shields if they get a lightning claws they will lose some of that health but gain absolutely crazy power melee splash damage we'll see what it goes for does still have a knob squad to deal with fire prism has been awesome so far sort of terminators coming back in these guys inspiring with each kill as well here comes the knob squad Assault Terminators don't really want to go one to one with these guys without their claws, but they are getting claws and this knob squad is in trouble. There is Frenzy. We'll give them damage and vulnerability for a few seconds. There is User Choppers. Gonna be a close fight now. User Choppers buffed up Knob Squad with full momentum now from those hammers. That is a very close fight. Terminators backing off. There's Odd Boys. Very, very good play by DJ Rafa. Excellently judged engagement there. Whacks out the Terminators. That was excellent. 196, 232. He's talking about a flame. I'm not sure what he's referring to. Is, is he referring to this? Bowspear? Level 5 Plague Champion. Noisy is floating. Insane amounts of power. He's not tier 3 yet though. Could get a Dreadnought right now. I think that would be a good idea. Get a Marcus each Dreadnought. 196, 232. No, he's going tier 3. Predator tank showing its rear armor, but not a lot there to damage it. There is a rocket launcher to damage it. We've got a rear armor hit on the fire prism, which continues to knock down entire armies of stuff. 196, 232. Because Space Marines capping mid, it's a 1 to 1 cap. It's very close. Another fire prison for Asmon, and why not? The first one has done so well. Can't believe how quickly those terminators went down. That was an awesome fight with those knob squad. 
the Salt Squad need a reinforce. He might be... No, I thought he was going to wait or something for a drop pod use, but these tactical marines are full. Librarian level 2. Doesn't have his full staff, which now gives him a quite powerful ranged option. Allows you to sit your librarian back a bit. 187232. What's going on north? We have a webway gate going up from Asmon. Scouts are going to get absolutely owned by that commando squad. And they've spotted this webway gate. Now these guys are detectors of course. 181232 down goes the webway gate immediately. That will give triple the XP in 2.2. What's going on mid? We have a black rain that's gone off. Has forced off the banshees. Also infected. Noisy's own stuff, but he has been healed by the shrine. The shrine goes down. Heretics in retreat. Now he's alone. Or without heretic support, even. Force Connor teleports in and causes them all to back the hell off. Vanguard veterans on the field. These guys getting a health buff in the next update. And also an awesome new portrait picture by someone who's doing some art for Elite Mod. We'll see that, I'm sure, soon. 181219. Sluggers moving in, fire prisms hanging back, getting those shots in. Such awesome fire support. Here comes that knob squad, very, very nearly level 3. And flanking in our commandos. Assault Marines jumping in on them, and that was a good choice, but now they're caught by the knob squad. That was most of the strike. Vanguard veterans getting four power melee weapons, a lightning claw, two power swords, and a thunder hammer, which does have. 15% chance to knock back, much like the Force Commander's Thunder Hammer does. They can get a Power Fist as well, of course, replacing that Thunder Hammer. Look how much resources Noisy has. He must be saving for a Phobos or a Great Thing one. Maybe a Phobos to try and put some pressure on his Fire Prisms from range. We'll see. 181219 Rangers up. Late game for Asmon. Hollow Fields would be nice to conceal these Fire Prisms. They retreat out now. These are Mark of Zeech, Cal Space Marines, two of them. For Noisy, these guys level three. These guys level four. Warlock going mental though. Special attacks all round. And now he's going for Providence. This is he going to go for the Witchblade of Conus as well? What can you do versus double fire prisons with Cal Space Marines? You've got to run away. There we go. Another black grenade use on his Star Avengers. They get away with just their Exarch. Plague Champion. Why is he moving so quickly there? That was odd. 181210. He's now in retreat and Asmon is retaking his natural victory point. Meanwhile, in the north, Force Commander running away from shooters is level 6. Warlock's level 4. Plague Champion is level 6. And the Warboss level 5 now has the Power Claw 95 DPS heavy melee. Will definitely damage all targets alongside this knob squad. That's going to be nasty. 161210. Lane of time on the Vanguard veterans who jump in on those shooters who really don't want to fight these guys. Forces them off. Really wants to jump those Vanguard veterans on his double kill space marines. That would be awesome for him. All those power melee attacks going in. They do, I think it's around 120 power melee DPS, the entire squad at level 1 about the same I think as an upgraded Banshee squad so it's like a Banshee squad with 1600 hit points that can jump in and they're gonna get 1800 hit points in the next update 143 210 Asmon on capping duty capping mid so a single cap for red Phobos is up for noisy land raider variant with twin link lads cannons on the side sponsors and an assault cannon on top can also use the Dirge Caster ability which stuns and debuffs nearby enemies. So if these Howling Banshees for example want to come in and try and hit it with their spear they're going to be in a bit of trouble. Has retained his heretics has noisy which is important. They're now level 3 so will be a big fight for these Banshees especially if Touch of Nurgle is used of course. Pretty much a engagement winner there. Vanguard veterans coming in, going to be a big engagement mid, I think. Down goes that shield. Phobos has taken a lot of damage already. 
from the fire prisms, I believe. Look at the range that they have using their focus shot. Here comes Rafa, and here come double predators running into Mob Squad, though. And that power core, that was a big mistake. 106210 Vanguard veterans need to run away. Very lucky that Mob Squad didn't turn on them there. They're still chasing this predator. Fire prism backing off, trying to disrupt them. Predator goes down. 100210, there is the dirge caster. The stun has worn off, but you still see the debuff on the Force Command, who now turns to the heretics who go after him. And now he's in retreat and goes down. 96 210. Red team with a decent victory point lead. But can they hold on to it? Here comes the war boss, fully buffed with user choppers and odd boys, and he's going to die. What is he up to? I think it was trying to get line of sight for a rocks there or something, but he just loses his war boss. 96, 205. Noisy floating again. Could get a predator tank, could get a dreadnought. Could get some plague marines on the field. Knob squad just about getting away. A single model and probably about 50 hit points when he started retreating. There's a warp throat ruining the shooter boy's day and forcing them off. That's what you can do with warp throw. Even if you can't chuck a grenade on or something, a nice black grenade there, it will usually get something in a position where it doesn't want to be, causing it to retreat. And Provenance is up for the Warlock, making him invulnerable to damage and all of his abilities recharge almost instantly. There's an orbital. Catches some Chaos Space Marines. Phobos is not moving. No sign. No, we can't use an Eldritch Storm. Asmon doesn't have the red. That was a lot of damage to the Phobos there. Forcing off the double CSM. Phobos is going to go down, surely. Yes, does go down. Predator also goes down, though, but I think that was worth it. Here comes some Chaos Terminators with an auto cannon. 84, 182. Not always easy to keep the Phobos on the field. We really need to support it a lot. And Terminators going down. Bright Lance. Level 4 Bright Lance doing some crazy damage there. Here's a Noxious Cloud on the Banshee. He's going to finally wipe these ladies. They're level 4. 1,631 hit points and they get away again. Just the Exarch surviving. 70, 182 is a 2 to 1 cap for Red Blue Team. A bit bedraggled right now. That foe boss is a big loss. The Terminator is even a bigger loss. Vanguard veterans chasing down shooters but they have a knob squad right behind them using Veil of Time and the jump to get away. Nice play from Lucidic. Now going on to these shooters who suppress them. That's quick thinking from Rafa. And the knob squad is still chasing them. Still see the carcass as it were of the Phobos there. The husk is destroyed though by a fire prism shot. Vanguard veterans still around. Knob squad no longer chasing, not sure where they're going now. They're going back north to try and cap, I think. Here come Hounding Banshees fleeting in alongside the Warlock. Level 6 Warlock. Look at the Fire Prisms, they've been so awesome in this game. We pretty much run the middle, I think. Another really nice Blight Grenade by Noisy. Banshees running away. And he needs to run away. There's a triple cap for Red, and this might be it. 30, 182. Rafa trying to retake north. Here comes the Librarian. Level 3. Very, very brave. Trying to take on the Nob Squad here. If they turn on him and he retreats and they all get one hit each, they might wipe him out. These are level 3 Nobs. They're too busy capping though. 9. 182. There's a double cap. That was a smite you just saw there. There's Frenzy. They do cap it, but it's only a 2 to 1. And Red Team take it. What an awesome game. Absolutely crazy action all round. Phobos going down and Terminator's going down, I think was the turning point Rafa rushing to knobs which did quite well for him did reasonably well with his war boss as well level six is down at the end in base which is a bit weird plague champion did awesome with his black grenades asmon loads of nice warp throws no grenades on top of them but still did well force one i've got to level nine good grief with that power fist and alacrity at the end thank you for watching guys hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time